Well, good afternoon again, everyone. Um, today we will hear member statements from the honorable members for the districts of Terra Nova, Cape St. Francis, Bay Vert Green Bay, Exploits, and Labrador West. The honorable the member for Terra Nova. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it is with great sadness today that I speak to honor a friend, a community leader, a World War II veteran of the British Navy who comes from my district. Born on January the 20th, 1920, Harold Chesley Bull, at the age of 19, enlisted in the Royal Navy and served on a corvette and a minesweeper. Harold Chesley Bull passed peacefully away May 28th at the age of 101 years old. He was not only a national war veteran, but an inspiration to his community and the entire province. Mr. Bull was the first mayor of Eastport. He was very active in community and a charter member of the Lions Club and the Royal Canadian Legion, and instrumental in the formation of the Eastport Volunteer Fire Department, and held multiple positions on many community boards. I was so proud and privileged to be able to call you my friend, Chess. Mr. Speaker, I wish to express all of our deepest condolences to his daughter, Marion Hunt, her husband, Wilf, granddaughter, Krista Moores, and her husband, Wayne, and to his great-granddaughter, Grace Moores. Please join me in solemn remembrance of this decorated World War II veteran and a true hero. Rest easy, soldier. Your duty is done. The Honorable, the member for Cape St. Francis. Mr. Speaker, on April 9, 1974, the Torbay Volunteer Fire Department was formed. Over the past 47 years, the Department has provided exceptional fire and emergency service, on call 24-7, to the town of Torbay, and for the past 20 years to the town of Flat Rock as well. Being active in the community on a regular basis, and in addition to their weekly training, members take part in fundraising, fire prevention week education, drive through open house and parade, Santa Claus motorcade, and a special needs party organized by Honorary Life Member Joe Tilly. To have such a dedicated group of individuals who give freely of their time and talents for the benefit of others is a testament to the Department as a whole. Mr. Speaker, I'd also like to recognize Chief Mike McGraw, a founding member on his 47 years of faithful and dedicated service to the Department. Such a career has to be applauded. I thank all members, past and present, for their efforts and commitment into forming the Torbay Volunteer Fire Department into the professional environment it is today. Mr. Speaker, I'll ask all honourable members in joining me to congratulate the Torbay Volunteer Fire Department on their 47th anniversary. The Honourable, the member for Bay Vert, Green Bay. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to recognize the late Harold Small, a former member of this honourable house representing the district formerly known as Bayvert White Bay. On May 17, 2021, the community of Wild Cove said goodbye to one of its most respected residents, Harold Small, at the age of 85. Harold was a passionate advocate and worked to improve the quality of life for others, involved in establishing and served as president of the Northeast Coast Sealers Cooperative. He served as treasurer of the Canadian Sealers Association, fisherman, seal hunter, and fish plant owner. He worked hard to have a seal processing plant in Fleur de Lis, began building boats assisting his father planking trap skiffs, recently built a long liner while still recuperating from hip replacement surgery. Harold Small left an incredible legacy to his family and to the entire Beaver Peninsula will be remembered for his generosity, integrity, loyal friendship, and humor. Our thoughts are with his wife, Maxine, his children, Ivan, Austin, Marcia, Melanie, their families, and all who knew him, including the fishing and sealing industry, especially those on the Northeast Coast. I ask all honorable members to join me in offering condolences to the small family. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable, the member for Exploits. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to congratulate Ms. Sheila Hurt of Northern Arm, who recently was chosen by BGC Canada as one of the year's Regional Youth of the Year. 
In partnership with Hyundai Canada and Mary Browns, Youth of the Year is an initiative that celebrates youth leadership and achievement at clubs across the country. Sheila has been a member of the BGC Botwood for more than 13 years, has served in numerous capacities at local and national levels. A dedicated volunteer, an employee, and club ambassador representing Newfoundland and Labrador on BGC Canada's National Youth Council. She is currently enrolled at MUN in social work uh, faculty. Mr. Speaker, as Regional Youth of the Year, she will continue to work with her local BGC and, BGC and BGCs from Atlantic provinces to foster and support youth, youth leaders. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to congr congratulate Ms. Sheila Hart of Northern Arm on being awarded BGC's Regional Youth of the Year and wish her all the best, best in her future endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honorable, the member for Labrador West. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, I'd like to recognize Josh Connors. Originally from Labrador City, Josh became a writer, producer, and author of a successful self-published play, Small Town Queer. Small Town Queer is a full-length play where several friends swap stories about growing up or living as a queer person in Newfoundland and Labrador. When the play was first launched, it was a sold-out house and well-received by the community. What was supposed to be a one-night show turned into a multi-night sold-out run. The book was also topped the charts in five separate categories on Amazon's bestsellers list. Small Town Queer touches on the stories of rejection, love, coming out, and many other themes. The countless stories and feedback from Small Town Queer has touched the lives of many people, whether through reading the play or seeing it on the stage. I'm, I'm incredibly proud of Josh and their continued success with the different projects he has presented, including their newest production, a repercussion of awkward small talk. I'm excited to see what comes next for this inspiring individual. I ask all members of this honorable house to join me in congratulating Josh on all their accomplishments. Thank you.